Uh, welcome uh, to my talk, uh, Software Transparency, Package Security Beyond Signatures and uh, Reproducible Builds. Uh, in uh, this uh, uh, presentation, I would like, uh, we are going to talk about the security of software distribution. So uh, how can we make sure that the software that uh, lands on the machines of the, our users uh, is actually the software they intend uh, to run? And uh, <clears throat> for, for this, uh, we propose uh, to uh, add a new uh, security feature on top of the existing uh, systems uh, like uh, Secure Apt and the reproducible builds uh, will also uh, play a big uh, role in this. Um, of course, uh, it uh, doesn't. Uh, the introduction of new features uh, doesn't uh, work without uh, changing a little bit of the uh, existing uh, infrastructure. So we are also going to take a look at uh, how we can approach uh, that. And then uh, I'm of course uh, very uh, interested in uh, feedback, uh, your ideas. Uh, what do you think uh, uh, might uh, be a bit of a hurdle? Uh, things like that. So uh, let's uh, start off with uh, some uh, examples uh, where there were uh, problems in, uh, soft in the security of uh, software uh, distribution in the area of uh, free uh, software. Um, <clears throat> there were problems with uh, Chrome extensions where developers were uh, fished, uh, their credentials uh, basically uh, got uh, lost and uh, malicious uh, extensions were uh, uploaded. There were uh, malicious images on uh, Docker Hub. Um, there were uh, compromised uh, NPM packages, uh, the Gentoo uh, GitHub uh, quite uh, recently, and also quite recently uh, the problem with the uh, Arch user repositories where uh, malicious uh, packages were uh, uploaded. Um, the uh, mature uh, social and organizational uh, structures in uh, Debian are uh, uh, quite a strength uh, in uh, this uh, regard, but uh, nevertheless, uh, we uh, should uh, prepare for uh, things uh, going wrong, uh, I think. Um, <clears throat> let's uh, take a look at uh, the uh, way uh, the existing uh, software distribution uh, works in uh, Debian. We have a person who uh, uploads a, a package. The, uh, all the packages uh, together then are distributed by the archive. They are signed by the archive with uh, signing keys. And uh, then uh, they are shipped off to the mirror network, our content distribution uh, network, um, where all the uh, packages and uh, metadata, meaning dependencies, which versions are available and so on, um, are uh, then uh, distributed uh, to the clients, which uh, can download them over HTTP or HTTPS. Um, this uh, architecture is uh, quite nice because it uh, allows uh, the part of the uh, architecture that uh, has to uh, scale uh, well, uh, in particular the content distribution network, to be untrusted. So it uh, doesn't mean uh, it doesn't uh, matter who uh, runs a uh, package uh, mirror for us. Um, they uh, can't uh, inject uh, packages uh, for the. Uh, uh, visible uh, in a visible way uh, for the users. Um, that's achieved by the uh, archive uh, signatures. Uh, it does, uh, however, uh, have uh, drawbacks. Uh, the uh, archive uh, signing key, on the other hand, is uh, all powerful. So um, if uh, anything uh, should happen uh, to this uh, signing key, uh, that would uh, be a big uh, trouble. And um, of course, we uh, also uh, trust our uh, uploaders. Um, <clears throat> that uh, they uh, uh, only uh, upload uh, the uh, appropriate uh, software. So um, how can we uh, improve the uh, situation? Uh, well, we are going to um, approach this with uh, two uh, goals in, in mind. The first is to uh, reduce uh, the or relax the uh, trust uh, in the uh, archive. What uh, we uh, would uh, like to achieve is uh, that uh, it's uh, impossible, even uh, if the archive is compromised, to deliver, uh, um, to deliver malicious packages to specific users. We, uh, we, c we can't avoid uh, malicious packages uh, being delivered to all the users, but we can uh, avoid uh, and uh, want to avoid uh, malicious packages uh, del uh, being delivered to specific users. Um, and the uh, second goal is uh, that uh, we uh, improve the uh, auditability. Uh, we have a, uh, that we have a secondary uh, audit structure in place um, where uh, uh, lots of uh, important properties can be uh, independ uh, verified independently of the uh, existing 
existing uh, infrastructure. Uh, for example, um, we would like to uh, make sure that uh, there is uh, inspectable uh, source code for uh, every binary, that we have a verified uh, mapping between uh, the source and the binary, um, <clears throat> that we can uh, reliably uh, identify the uh, maintainer uh, responsible for the distribution uh, of this uh, package, and uh, we, in, in case something uh, goes wrong, we would also like to have a, a strong indication of uh, where the problem uh, originated uh, from. And um, <clears throat> this uh, work, um, uh, uh, th this proposal uh, works on these uh, specific uh, goals. So uh, the approach we are going to uh, take in order to uh, achieve this is uh, that we uh, want to make sure that uh, everybody runs the, uh, exam uh, the exact same software. So this is the uh, main idea we are going to follow. And we can uh, immediately see if we can uh, achieve this, uh, then uh, we can't have uh, targeted backdoors, malicious uh, packages only del uh, being delivered to specific uh, users uh, anymore, right? And uh, this is a huge advantage because then uh, any malicious uh, package has to uh, be delivered to uh, everybody, which also greatly uh, increases the risk of uh, detection and therefore makes the attack uh, more unattractive uh, to the uh, attacker. So if we uh, have uh, the situation that everybody runs the exact uh, same uh, software, I can uh, go ahead and uh, audit or analyze a particular uh, package, and the result of this uh, analysis is uh, immediately applicable to all installations of this uh, package, because we can be sure that we actually run uh, the uh, exact uh, same uh, software. There are no uh, targeted backdoors um, <clears throat> possible uh, anymore, and we can uh, also uh, pinpoint uh, where things uh, go wrong uh, if they do. So now uh, let's uh, take a look at the uh, design we uh, propose to uh, achieve that. The uh, main idea is uh, that we add an additional uh, component called a uh, log server um, <clears throat> that uh, serves to make uh, sure that everybody runs the same uh, software and will also facilitate the uh, auditing uh, goals. And it's uh, important that we uh, don't uh, add uh, an additional component as another uh, trusted third party, but we uh, really, really uh, want uh, uh, anything we add to be um, uh, 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 to be uh, in such a way that we don't have to trust it, but rather we can uh, verify from the uh, outside. So, for example, all the clients uh, can uh, verify uh, certain properties of the behavior of this uh, log server. And uh, we, we are going to uh, keep all the existing infrastructure in place. There's the uh, archive with the uh, mirror network delivering software packages to the apt clients. Um, and uh, now the archive uh, also um, publishes its uh, metadata, meaning uh, dependencies, uh, version numbers, uh, and so on, uh, and uh, the uh, source packages uh, to the uh, log server. Where, um, and the, the log server will uh, also have to be um, contacted by the clients. We are going to uh, look at it uh, in a bit uh, more detail later. For now, uh, let's uh, take a look at uh, how the uh, log server has to look in, uh, in order to uh, facilitate the uh, goals uh, that we want to uh, achieve. Uh, um, the uh, log server operates a data structure called a uh, hash tree um, over a list of uh, elements. And uh, I'm going, just going to uh, show um, the uh, basic uh, data structure and one example of uh, what we can uh, do with this data structure. We're not going to uh, through uh, all the uh, properties. So uh, let's start off the, uh, with the uh, list of uh, elements, which are the uh, squares at the uh, bottom of the graph. And uh, these uh, list elements are things like uh, source packages and the package metadata. So the uh, packages.gz file, the uh, in-release file, uh, the, these kinds of uh, things uh, containing the uh, dependencies and uh, hash sums of the uh, packages. So each of these uh, things is uh, one, uh, one uh, little uh, square here. And uh, over the, these, uh, uh, this uh, list of uh, squares, um, we are going to compute a hash tree uh, where the uh, parent uh, of each node, so going uh, upwards in the graph, uh, is the uh, hash of its uh, children. And uh, if we do this, uh, we have an interesting uh, property, uh, namely the uh, tree root, the topmost node, in the graph uh, reliably uh, identifies all the list uh, elements, right? So <clears throat> we can't change uh, anything in the list without the uh, top node also uh, changing uh, due to the uh, 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 chained uh, hash construction in the uh, hash tree. 
<coughs> so um, this tree is uh, operated uh, by the uh, log server and uh, we are now uh, going to take a quick look at uh, one uh, thing we can achieve using this uh, data structure. Um, <coughs> so uh, if we are in the situation that we know the uh, tree root and we would uh, like to have assurance that the uh, square marked with uh, X is actually covered by the tree. Remember the tree can be uh, very, very large and um, <coughs> the uh, a a client might have, for example, this uh, in-release file and they want to make sure that it is covered by this uh, tree root. So <coughs> what uh, we can uh, do now is we can uh, ask the log server, hey, uh, please send me the proof that the uh, uh, third element is uh, actually uh, contained uh, within this uh, tree root and the log server would uh, respond with the uh, nodes marked in gray here and uh, with these uh, uh, gray marked nodes uh, we can uh, recompute the uh, tree root and uh, actually uh, convince ourselves uh, that uh, we, the um, tree root covers this uh, element in question. The uh, lock uh, supports uh, two uh, operations, uh, efficiently uh, and uh, cryptographically uh, secure, uh, namely uh, proving that a given element is included in the list uh, covered by the tree root, and uh, also that the uh, list was uh, always operated in a append-only manner. So there are no other changes to the list other than uh, adding uh, new elements uh, to it. And um, if we uh, only rely on these uh, properties, there's uh, no need to trust the lock server Rather, we can, um, we can uh, verify all the important uh, properties uh, from the outside of the uh, log server. And this will be uh, the uh, main uh, method we uh, use uh, uh, to uh, achieve uh, our goal of ensuring that uh, everybody runs the uh, exact same uh, software. Now, <clears throat> let's uh, take a look at the uh, whole uh, architecture in a bit uh, more uh, detail. So, uh, you'll uh, recall we have the uh, archive, the um, content distribution network, the mirror network, and our apt uh, clients who install the software from the uh, CDN. Um, we uh, have added a uh, log server operating a uh, tree data structure and the archive submits uh, the uh, package metadata dependencies, uh, hashes and so on, uh, package versions into this uh, log server and it also submits the source packages into this uh, log server. The um, apt client is uh, augmented with an auditor uh, component which uh, serves to verify the uh, log operation. For example, we can uh, uh, verify that a uh, new uh, tree root uh, is an append-only uh, version of an older tree root and we can also uh, query uh, the log for proof that a particular um, <coughs> a metadata file, for example an in-release file, is uh, covered by uh, this uh, tree root. Okay, um, <clears throat> there's also an additional uh, component uh, that we need uh, called a uh, monitor and uh, of these uh, monitors uh, there are a few and a few uh, people and um, uh, um, yeah, some people uh, should be uh, interested to uh, run these uh, monitors because uh, they uh, fulfill important analysis uh, functions uh, for, for different uh, groups of people. Uh, in, in general, the, what the monitor does is it uh, verifies the uh, log operation uh, similar to the uh, auditor, and, but it uh, also does uh, additional uh, checks and it may uh, require uh, to um, uh, keep a, a copy of the, um, of the uh, tree data structure or the, all the elements uh, used to construct the uh, tree data structure or at least uh, receive uh, all new, uh, all new uh, elements. And um, this uh, monitor uh, makes uh, certain of uh, many uh, security uh, properties. So if you're uh, unsure how we can uh, achieve a certain uh, property or defend uh, against a certain attack, the answer will uh, usually be that uh, there's a monitor function that uh, serves to uh, achieve this. And um, <coughs> we uh, keep in mind that it's um, enough if uh, one party detects a problem because we have uh, strong indication of uh, where, the, where something uh, went wrong, right? So if there's uh, one monitor who uh, detects a misbehavior, that monitor should be in the, uh, have uh, all the necessary data to prove to the outside world, uh, to the wider community, that uh, yes, there was a problem and the problem was uh, this, this and that. Okay. Um, 
Yeah, so uh, let's uh, quickly uh, recap. Um, <clears throat> the uh, log server can uh, efficiently and cryptographically uh, prove uh, that a given uh, element was included in the uh, list covered by the tree uh, data structure. It can um, efficiently uh, prove that the uh, list was operated in append-only uh, fashion. Uh, the new, uh, the other uh, new components, the auditor, which is um, uh, resides with the uh, apt client, and the monitor, which is uh, an additional uh, component. Um, <clears throat> these two uh, verify the uh, log inclusion of uh, important uh, metadata files. Uh, they uh, verify the consistent operation of the uh, log server, and the uh, monitor uh, additionally uh, has uh, investigating uh, functions that uh, analyze. Uh, the data present. Now, um, so far, uh, the uh, architecture. Um, what uh, are the things uh, that uh, we uh, need to assume in order to make this work? There are uh, changes uh, in the uh, existing uh, system uh, assumed uh, in uh, order to uh, achieve all these things. Well, <clears throat> the, uh, starting off with the uh, archive, these are our assumptions. Uh, the archive uh, can uh, submit uh, files into the uh, log server, and uh, on submission, the uh, log server returns an in, in inclusion uh, promise, and uh, these inclusion uh, promises, which are essentially uh, uh, signatures over uh, small uh, items, um, need to be uh, distributed by the archive in order to hold the log server accountable uh, to its uh, promises. Um, we assume that the uh, release frequency is uh, rather uh, consistent. Um, the archive in our architecture is uh, responsible for uh, distributing uh, reproducible builds. Of course, uh, it's possible to have uh, blacklists if you know, okay, this package uh, won't build uh, reproducibly, uh, for example. We uh, also assume that the uh, build info file that's uh, required to build uh, reproducibly is uh, covered by the uh, release file. So at the moment, uh, we uh, treat it as uh, source package uh, metadata. Uh, we also assume uh, source only um, uploads. And uh, we uh, assume that there's a, a key ring package that is an authoritative uh, copy of the key ring. So uh, this uh, key ring uh, source package would then be uh, respected by the archive on uh, uploads. Okay, so. Uh, so much uh, for the archive. The log server, well, that's a standalone uh, server. One would probably want to have uh, more than one of these. Um, you can have uh, read-only uh, frontends to these because uh, only the uh, archive is going to uh, submit to it. And uh, I think we are also going to have a uh, much easier time operating these log servers uh, compared to certificate transparency, uh, for example, where uh, anybody can uh, upload uh, certificates uh, usually. The uh, auditor uh, component uh, should be integrated into uh, apt uh, somehow, and uh, the uh, important parts here are some uh, cryptographic uh, verifications. Um, there are a few uh, file formats that uh, need to be uh, understood and uh, some uh, network uh, access. Um, <clears throat> um, some of these uh, things uh, we can uh, also uh, distribute over the mirrors, pick them into, uh, together into, into files uh, such that they are usable for uh, most uh, clients and then uh, ship it off as uh, additional uh, metadata, much uh, like we do with other metadata right now. Okay, so uh, the uh, log server and the uh, auditor. Now for the uh, monitor. The uh, monitor uh, tasks in include uh, the, uh, verifying the append-only operation uh, of the log. Uh, the monitor uh, will uh, probably want to exchange uh, tree routes with uh, monitors and uh, uh, auditors. The uh, verification functions of the uh, monitor uh, also include uh, checks of the package uh, metadata. For example, uh, is the uh, metadata uh, complete? Are all the parts that are supposed to be there, are they actually there? Um, do we have uh, the source available for every uh, package? Um, are the version uh, increments uh, correct? Uh, for ex so uh, for each uh, package uh, change uh, or dependency change uh, or uh, something like that, there should be a, a version change uh, such that uh, clients are actually uh, updating uh, correctly. 
Um, yeah, I uh, <coughs> talked about the uh, release frequency that needs to be uh, consistent. Um, we uh, can uh, verify the um, upload uh, access control list um, using uh, source signatures and the uh, uh, authoritative uh, key ring. Um, <coughs> and uh, the monitor, of course, can uh, ver also verify uh, reproducible uh, builds uh, to verify the uh, mapping between uh, source and uh, binary uh, package using the uh, build info file. Okay, so um, that's the uh, things uh, that uh, are new in this uh, architecture. Um, now uh, I'd like to discuss uh, a little bit uh, what the useful features uh, there are for different uh, groups uh, aside from, uh, of course, the uh, security and new security uh, properties. The um, <clears throat> These uh, reasons um, should, uh, in um, my uh, opinion, also serve as a motivation uh, for different people to run one of these uh, monitors because the monitors can uh, alert them uh, if uh, things go wrong uh, in, in some way. Um, <clears throat> so uh, maintainers get uh, assurance of uh, uh, a reproducible uh, binary. They can have a uh, notification of uh, all uploads uh, that were done using uh, their key. Um, they can uh, have uh, notifications of um, uh, who did uh, changes on uh, their uh, packages. <clears throat> and uh, all these uh, things are independent of the uh, existing uh, infrastructure. So uh, no matter what is uh, compromised in uh, the uh, existing uh, infrastructure, uh, the, these uh, would all still be uh, verifiable. The uh, account managers and uh, keyring uh, maintainers uh, have a uh, have a way to uh, ensure that the uh, keyring is uh, respected um, for uh, uploads. The um, reproducible build uh, people uh, can have uh, assurances of uh, reproducible uh, binary uh, packages, and the uh, archive operators and uh, FTP masters um, ha can have uh, assur assurance of uh, correct uh, metadata. They can have uh, assurance of uh, reproducibly uh, building uh, binary uh, packages, and uh, also that uh, their uh, machines are correctly uh, observing the uh, upload uh, ACLs. Okay, so uh, these are the uh, features that are uh, added uh, into the system. Um, <clears throat> we uh, now uh, talk a little bit about um, what uh, actually uh, exists. Well, it uh, does exist in a prototype uh, uh, fashion. So for all the uh, components, uh, there's, a, uh, um, there's a prototype. Um, these uh, prototypes contain the uh, cryptographic verification functions uh, and so on, but they are not in, uh, not yet in a form of uh, patches to the uh, actual uh, Debian software and to the up client, uh, for example. Um, <clears throat> what we did in order to uh, evaluate uh, this uh, prototype, um, we uh, used uh, the uh, last two years of the uh, stretch uh, development phase, so uh, two years uh, before um, uh, stretch became stable until uh, stretch became uh, stable basically. So that's uh, two years of uh, Debian testing. We fed it uh, into the system. This uh, results in uh, 270,000 uh, uh, tree elements. Um, and the uh, uh, log server needs a storage of about uh, 400 uh, gigabytes, which is of course uh, heavily dominated by the source packages. The cost of the uh, monitor is uh, um, uh, dominated uh, heavily by the verification of uh, reproducible builds because uh, compiling uh, takes time and uh, CPU time. Um, and uh, we uh, also uh, noticed that there may be some uh, inconsistencies in uh, metadata at uh, some points in time. So, uh, for example, that uh, the uh, source uh, is missing or that the version wasn't uh, incremented when I thought uh, there uh, would be a, a version uh, increment. Okay. Um, <clears throat> If you are interested in this uh, topic, um, here are some uh, pointers that may uh, also be uh, interesting uh, to you. The first one is a uh, theoretical uh, work. Um, the uh, second one is another interesting uh, software uh, distribution security system. I believe we, there will be a presentation uh, later in the uh, conference. 
Um, the uh, third one is an idea by the uh, Firefox uh, people uh, to have a similar uh, feature uh, for uh, Firefox. And the uh, fourth one is um, a, a new uh, proposal. OK. Um, Let's uh, quickly uh, recap. So uh, we can achieve uh, under this uh, architecture the detection of uh, targeted uh, backdoors. We get uh, lots of auditability features. Uh, for example, um, we uh, can we will be uh, sure that um, for every uh, binary we can uh, point to the uh, appropriate uh, source code, and the source code is uh, downloadable. Um, for um, each uh, binary, uh, we can uh, also be sure that uh, this is the exact uh, source code that was uh, used to uh, compile it. Um, <clears throat> we uh, can uh, identify which maintainer uh, authorized the uh, upload, and we have, in case anything uh, goes wrong, we uh, uh, should have uh, strong uh, evidence, or the, the party detecting that something uh, goes wrong will have uh, strong evidence uh, to convince the public that, uh, yes, uh, there was a problem, and the problem was uh, this and that. Um, <clears throat> there's uh, a uh, class of uh, attacks I didn't really uh, discuss in uh, detail uh, today, so I'm just uh, so you're aware that there's uh, more, uh, more out there. Um, yeah, so uh, that would be uh, uh, it from uh, my side, and uh, now I'm uh, interested in your uh, uh, questions uh, and ideas and uh, any other feedback you might have. Uh, hi. Hi. So you mentioned multiple times about append-only uh, yes. feature of these trees. So over the decades of uh, running this, uh, when this whole system is growing rapidly, uh, how do you propose to do like rollovers of this hash trees, or what are your ideas on, on that front? Do you have any yeah. proposals? Um, I, I don't have a, a specific uh, proposal. Uh, certificate transparency is uh, ahead of us, and uh, they are dealing with this uh, problem right now, basically. And um, the main idea uh, they seem to be using is uh, having uh, different uh, log servers for different years. And um, well, uh, that's uh, <laughs> one, one way to do it. Someone on the internet asked that, does that scheme do anything to prevent repair attacks? Uh, you, you mean like um, avoiding that I'm shown the, an old version of a package again? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So uh, the, in the uh, literature, that's uh, um, most most of the time called a, a freeze attack. So if you look at that, and uh, apt already has a, a defense feature built in uh, to defend against that. Um, so the uh, release files, um, which uh, uh, cover all the uh, packages, they have uh, uh, they have a wall clock time um, until uh, which uh, they are valid. So um, I think it's probably seven days uh, or something. Uh, like that, um, for which the uh, release file is uh, valid. <clears throat> What's the status of this proposal? Who is working on this? Who will operate these servers? And what do you plan to do against compromise of these servers? Because then you can um, root everybody. Yes. Um, 
so the uh, status is that uh, I'm uh, working uh, on it and uh, everybody is uh, invited uh, to uh, also work on it and uh, any work for example on reproducible builds uh, is also helpful uh, of course because uh, that work is uh, important and uh, needs to be done. Um, so um, if uh, the uh, the uh, log server is uh, compromised. Um, that uh, should be uh, something that's um, possible to, to detect if a um, malicious um, operation uh, is done. Um, so, I mean, the exact uh, details depend on what the uh, what the attacker would would do. And I think there was another part to your question. Um, Who's operating? Oh, uh, yeah, of course, of course, of course. Okay, so um, it was uh, important uh, to me because uh, lots of uh, academic uh, work uh, says, well, uh, we need this uh, cool, uh, we need this uh, cool uh, system, and we'll have uh, independent parties uh, operated. Um, so I think that's a, a very important uh, question. Um, the uh, log server itself uh, would, uh, in um, my imagination, would be that it's uh, operated by the uh, project. Um, like uh, other uh, central uh, infrastructure. Um, the um, auditor component is uh, integrated with the uh, apt client, so everybody can uh, have it and turn it off or on um, or something. And uh, the uh, monitor uh, functions, uh, these uh, need to be uh, run independently uh, as well. Um, so uh, that, that's uh, one, one reason um, why I uh, came up with the um, different uh, verification functions, because um, uh, different, different uh, people uh, can uh, get uh, different advantages or can get, uh, are interest, m might be interested in different uh, assurances. So uh, for example, the uh, account manager uh, team and the um, uh, key, key ring team uh, might want to uh, run a uh, monitor that uh, only does the uh, lightweight verification functions and in particular all functions, uh, verification functions uh, related to keys and they uh, might not uh, run a repro uh, full reproducible uh, builds verification which of course is uh, costly. Hello. Uh, you said there were some unexpected events. Uh, could you Tell a little bit more about that. Did you I, investigate about yes, the yes, causes yes. and so on? Yes, I, I plan to do so, but I need to improve my uh, tooling because I have uh, tons of uh, metadata files and navigating uh, through them is a bit uh, painful uh, at the moment, but it's uh, work that needs to be done, yeah. <clears throat> and also, have you run the same set of checks against Buster yet? No, not yet. Okay. That means you have code for this already? I do have. Do you have code for this already? Yes, uh, prototype uh, code. So the uh, verification functions are uh, implemented. Um, almost, yeah, mo most of them at least. And, um, I, but, but I don't have uh, patches for apt, for example, right? So it's an, in, at the moment it's an independent uh, component that does the verification, but I don't have patches for apt, so that's the. Uh, and where is the code? <laughs> ah, you mean the uh, URL? It's in uh, it's in Git. I can put up uh, URL here. Hi. Hello. Um, you said that uh, testing reproducibility of the builds is very costly. Does that mean you're doing that already? No. Okay. Okay, I was going to ask you how you're, you're doing that. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yes, uh, I, I think uh, it should be the only thing that's uh, missing, I think, yeah. Okay. <laughs> How does this integration with Apt work exactly? Um, not yet. <laughs> so Do you have uh, any idea how it would work with, for instance, Apt contact the log server directly or? Ah, okay, yeah. Um, 
Yes, uh, so th there are uh, multiple uh, possibilities uh, to do that. For example, to uh, ship the proofs to the clients. Um, uh, we, uh, we, we uh, could decide to um, have the uh, proofs that are uh, likely to be uh, relevant to most clients, uh, to have them uh, distributed over the uh, mirror network in order to save uh, the clients contacting the log server uh, separately, or one could have the uh, client uh, always contact the uh, log server. Um, yeah, so there are different uh, trade-offs uh, possible and uh, we uh, would then uh, need to decide which uh, way, way, way to go. So uh, yeah, there are multiple possibilities. Like, I'd like to thank you for your work because we've been in reproducible builds, we've been discussing these ideas since 2014, but never wrote them down this consistently. <laughs> so thank you for that work. Yeah. Great. Um, yeah, um, the same. Um, <laughs> um, you, you mentioned apt uh, doing some kind of online querying to the log server for the the, the pieces necessary to verify that a package can be trusted. Um, but a lot of the time, apps could be used offline as well. And so the, the package ind indices contain signatures that allow offline verification before installing a package from uh, a package if it's been already downloaded. And uh, at inst install time, for example, uh, packages com could be coming from offline yeah. media. Do you have ideas how um, offline verification could yeah. be done? Is it possible to, along with the, the dot .deb, to distribute proofs that that the package is trustworthy? Yes, uh, it's uh, certainly uh, possible. Um, th if uh, we decide to uh, ship proofs over the mirror network, uh, we have to decide, um, for example, for the consistency uh, proofs between different uh, tree heads, meaning uh, different tree sizes. Um, there uh, have to be consistent uh, C proofs, and uh, one, I mean, these proofs aren't large, they are uh, quite small. Um, so uh, we would need to pack a bunch of generations basically into one file, uh, ship it off, and if the client is basically within range of the uh, tree size, then it would work, and otherwise an online operation would be required. Okay. But I haven't uh, thought a lot about the uh, installation uh, phase, I have to admit, yeah. Okay, so um, there would be a bit uh, more time if there are any questions. Um. Okay. okay.